the second heaven, let me give a brief statement about my call and vocation from the Lord, it happened one day as I was laying down on the court of my house, when suddenly a force took over me, as a result my spirit went out of my body and was taken to the sky, when I got there in the atmosphere I saw the Lord Jesus Christ, beloved, when you meet the Lord Jesus Christ you will know that you are standing before God himself, it is automatic, when the Lord Jesus Christ set his eyes on you, his anointing will be transferred to you, and your understanding will be renewed and enlightened instantaneously, and you will be connected the supernatural, the Lord said to me, look at the earth, when I looked at planet earth, the Lord said, when you divide the earth in three portion, that is the proportion of humanity that will be saved through your message and your ministry, the Lord said, you are an end time servant, I will use your ministry and other to bring about the rapture of the church, your ministry will be prophetic, in order to prepare my people for the rapture, few weeks later I was convinced by the spirit of the Lord to spend some time in the church for prayer, as a result I began to spend most of my time in the church in prayer, in fact I left my house in order to sleep in the church for prayer, I spent eight consecutive months in the presence of the Lord, this was not a result of an audible voice recommendation, but a simple conviction of the Holy Spirit, I was sleeping in the church, later I was joined by a member of my church, they were touched by the fact that I have left behind my house in order to sleep in the church for many months, then one day in the morning after prayer something happened, I was talking to a member of my church when suddenly I saw three being of extreme beauty dressed with a white garment of brightening glow. These tall and robust angels were not touching the ground, these were supernatural entities, the first angel introduced himself to me and said, I'm the chief angel Michael, I work in the field of spiritual warfare, it is written that the angel of the Lord encamp around them that fear him, I am the one who encamp around the children of God. I will reveal to you secret about the kingdom of Lucifer and spiritual warfare, I will tell you secret about the devil because I know him, I was the leader of the regiment that cast him out of heaven, the second angel introduced himself to me as Gabriel, he said to me, I am the one who appeared to your sister Mary in order to announce her the good news about the birth of the Saviour, the Bible say, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a city in Galilee, the angel went to a virgin promised in marriage to a descendant of David named Joseph, the virgin's name was Mary, when the angel entered her home, he greeted her and said, you are favored by the Lord, the Lord is with you, she was startled by what the angel said and tried to figure out what this greeting meant, the angel told her, don't be afraid Mary, you have found favor with God, you will become pregnant and give birth to a son and name him Jesus, he will be a great man and will be called the Son of the Most High, the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, your son will be king of Jacob's people forever, and his kingdom will never end, beloved, when I heard the archangel Gabriel calling Mary the mother of the Lord Jesus Christ my sister I felt a special feeling, a feeling of pride and prestige, then Gabriel said to me, I am the one who give believers message, dream and vision when they are in deep sleep. I will reveal a lot of thing to you, actually the archangel Gabriel revealed to me 100 secret contain in Jesus parable, then the archangel Gabriel said, we come to your church, your house and we walk by your side, yet you people are so busy with everyday preoccupation, which has reduced your spiritual sensibility, therefore you cannot sense our presence around you, and you cannot see us, although we are everyday around you but the fact that many of the children of God are seeing us these days, it is an indication that the event of the return of the Son of God is at hand, I will reveal to you secret about life beyond the grave and the end of time, the third angel seems different from Michael and Gabriel, he introduced himself as marvelous, he said, I am the angel that appeared to the mother of Samson, the Bible say a certain man of Zara, named Manoah from the clan of the Danites, had a wife who was childless, unable to give birth, the angel of the Lord appeared to her and said, you are barren and childless, but you are going to become pregnant and give birth to a son, now see to it that you drink no wine or other fermented drink and that you do not eat anything unclean, you will become pregnant and have a son whose head is never to be touched by a razor because the boy is to be a Nazarite, dedicated to God from the womb, 
he will take the lead in delivering Israel from the hands of the Philistines. The angel Marvelous said, I work in the field of salvation and the end time. This angel in the name of Marvelous was the Lord Jesus Christ himself, after this first encounter. The next four days were days of angelic visitation, as the whole church was able to hear the voice of the angels of the Lord. On the fifth day of angelic visitation something happened, it was on the 10th of February 2007 at 5 p.m., the archangel Michael who promised to reveal to me secret about the devil and spiritual warfare came, and he held my right hand, immediately my spirit left my body, Michael held my right hand we took speedy flight, we began to ascend in the speed of light, and we found ourselves in the atmosphere, and over there in space the archangel asked me, do you know where we are going? I was about to respond when he said, Lucifer has summoned a meeting in the second heaven, which will start in few minutes, the kingdom of heaven has chosen you as their representative to take part in that meeting and reveal the content of this gathering to the world, few minutes later we arrived in the second heaven, then we entered the auditorium which was a huge oval hall, this place was between the heaven and the earth, the chief angel Michael said to me, fear not and don't panic, you just stand by my side, you must observe and listen to everything, you have been commissioned to tell the world everything you will see and hear here, actually as I was attending this gathering in the second heaven the Lord Jesus Christ had entered my body that was left on the earth, and he took complete control of my sense and was addressing the people of God in the church while my spirit was attending this summit in the atmosphere, back in the oval auditorium in the second heaven I noticed that the hall was full to capacity, demons of all kind and people from all nations were waiting for the prince of this world the devil, once we got in the meeting hall the chief angel Michael said to me, very soon you will see our enemy which is your enemy, we were hoovering this auditorium when suddenly I heard a thunderous explosion, this detonation was the arrival of Lucifer, the devil did not arrive like everybody else but in a thunderous explosion, I saw Satan for the first time on the 10 of February 2007, immediately after landing in the oval auditorium the devil transformed himself, I mean his head turned to that of a dog, then he said to the participant, do not be surprised by my emblem of a dog head, I took the appearance of the dog because I want to demonstrate to you that I am God, the reason that I summoned you today is that I heard the other one claiming that he is God, and that he want to save humanity, the devil and demons of hell don't quote the name of Jesus Christ for fear of adverse effect, the devil refer to Jesus Christ as the other one, then with a hand sign the devil removed the ceiling of the oval hall, and he caused the assistants to rise beyond the ceiling of the auditorium, I saw the assistants suspended in space and observing planet earth, I have to admit that I managed to recognize some face among the assistants, then I saw the devil pointing a particular section of the earth, he actually zoomed a section of the earth, as a result we saw people getting on with their lives in that section of the earth, but strangely all the people on that section of the earth had dog head just like Lucifer himself, afterward the devil zoomed another geographic section of the earth, and we saw human population of that part of the earth with dog head, then the devil zoomed another section of planet earth and we saw people in different churches, we saw pastors, we saw evangelist, church singers, deacon in the church with dog head, churches were full of believers, preachers and singers with dog head, afterward the devil got the assistants back in the oval auditorium, then he said to the participant, you saw with your own eyes 80% of the world population with dog head which is my emblem, you saw with your own eyes many believers, preachers, singers with my emblem of dog head, they have my image and my likeness, they look like me, yet the other one who claimed to be God, the savior of humanity has only 20% of the world population, the question every one of you is to ask and to answer is this, who is God? Him or me, he has only 20% of the world population, who is powerful him or me, it is written in their law that the dog has returned to what he has vomited, when the devil said this I remember the passage in the epistle of Peter, the Bible say it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than to have known it and turned away from the holy commandment passed on to them, of them the proverbs are true, a dog returns to its vomit, and, a sow that is washed goes back to her wallowing in the mud, 
Then I saw the devil still with his dog head, he vomited on his pulpit and then he consumed his vomit, then he said to the assistants, it is thanks to my power that 80% of the world population are sinner, and the majority of the believers have backslidden, any Christian that has backslidden has adopted my emblem of the dog head, he has my image, at that moment I saw the assistance that was made up of demon and human falling down on their knees worshipping the devil and declaring him God, the Bible say that the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers, so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, the assistance was worshipping the devil and saying you are God because 80% of the world population resembled you, they have your image and your emblem, you are more powerful than the other one who has only 20% of the world population, dear believers, every time we are living in sin we are adopting the emblem of the devil which is a dog head, the Bible say, whosoever practice sin is of the devil, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, blessed are those who wash their robes, so that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter the city by its gates. But outside are the dogs, the sorcerers, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood, as the worship of Lucifer was going on, the archangel Michael and I stood in diagonal position to the pulpit of the devil, and then the devil started the meeting which was to last four months in the firmament, he began to unveil his eighty strategies against humanity and the church, his words was automatically printed on a book called Technic Tactic, that book is also called a trap niger which means how to set a trap for the foolish man and the imprudent, the gathering in the firmament lasted four months, basically every time the devil was unveiling a strategy, he was adjourning the meeting in order to deploy demon to execute the new strategy in various regions of the earth, and sometime demon were traveling in dimension beyond our physical world, in the meantime the meeting would be suspended and the participants would be waiting for their return and their report. These demons were traveling to many parts of the earth that were in night or day times, they were traveling long distance in second and very few minutes, and they were traveling to several countries, continents cities, they were also traveling to the marine kingdom, the subterranean kingdom even to the firmament, and every time these demons were traveling to the cosmos I had to follow them in order to see what is happening and how they were executing their missions, I was ordered continuously by the archangel Michael to follow them, as a result I have been to many invisible kingdom of Lucifer, and I have accumulated knowledge of the tactics and strategies of the enemy. In this magazine I will bring you words of Lucifer exactly as he said them so that everybody would understand the kingdom of darkness, as it is written you will know the truth and the truth will set you free, then the devil started to address the assistants with arrogance, he said to the participant, I have gathered you today because we have an opponent, I heard him saying that he want to save humanity, that is why I have gathered you today so that we can prevent that from happening. Today I will deliver a strategy, in order to cause his follower to become weak and vulnerable, so that our kingdom will grow on the earth, then Lucifer started to enumerate and elaborate on his strategy which were a total of eighty, the devil disclosed the first strategy that he called vaccine or the law of repetition and resistance, he said, through this strategy we will impose a law in the lives of born again Christian basically the follower of Jesus Christ have a luminous ring of fire above their head, and this orbit of fire above their head is potentially destructive, it can neutralize us, therefore I want to underline that you should not come close to Christians as long as their ring of fire is shining and burning, we must initially put out the fire of that ring of light before engaging them for fear of defeat, let it be clear, if you come to report to me after being wrecked because of the ring of fire, I will be left with no choice but to destroy you, do not come close to Christians as long as their fire is burning and glowing, you must observe and monitor them before taking any action against them, on the other hand it will be apparent that when these people commit sin the fiery ring of light will go off, their light would be put out as a result of sin, it is only that way that they will become vulnerable, in fact your mission is to get born again Christian to commit sin in order to turn off the ring of fire and light above their head, dear believers, there is a ring of fire above the head of each born again Christian, which is a self-generating electric energy of God, 
The Bible say you are the light of the world, a Christian is full of divine and electric energy, and the electricity from God and electrical charge are running all over his system, that is why demon would not come close to a Christian. Then the devil said to the assistants, you must use the method of surveillance and monitoring, I order you to watch them, work with family which is, in order to mount a surveillance system around born again Christian, do not do anything against them before mounting a system of surveillance and monitoring, and when they sin you will notice that their light and fire emanating from the luminous ring and orbit of fire will go off. The moment a born again Christian commits sin you will report to me because this is the best time to attack them, on this basis you have to understand that sin is our gospel, and sin will be our gospel, sin is the mechanism by which the luminous flame of the believer goes off, and I saw the devil instructed his demon to report to him every time a Christian sin, because that is the critical moment to strike him, I come today to beseech you Christians to keep your flame luminous. Every born-again Christian has the responsibility of keeping his luminous ring of fire turned on. The Bible say that John was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. The satanic world is desperate to get Christian fire and light to go off, they can do nothing against believers as long as the ring of fire is burning and shining, it is sin that turn off the light of the believer, introducing a time of vulnerability and fragility. After explaining this strategy I saw the devil summoning eight demons to step forward, and he gave them syringe, the devil said to them, every time a born again Christian is caught in the act of sinning you will inject this vaccine called the law of resistance and repetition in him, when a Christian is caught in sin eight of you will surround him and you will pray, you will summon me in the following prayer, O Supreme Master Lucifer. This is your victim who has listened to your voice and he has obey your order and instruction, come and enter in his body which is your temple, when you say this prayer, I will come in a speed of lightning and I will enter the body of this believer, and I will vaccinate him with the law of resistance and repetition, as consequence he will fall repeatedly in that sin, despite his fasting, despite his decision to abandon his sin, the victim will always fall in that sin because he is vaccinated with the law of repetition even if the believer confessed his sin, but, as he is injected with the law of repetition, he will become slave of that sin, he will repeat that sin again and again despite his remorse, despite his will, his fasting and his determination, then the devil said to eight demons standing before him, after you vaccinated the victim, seven of you will leave him, but one of you will stay and station around the victim, he will monitor and surveil this Christian in case this believer feel the guilt and he is manifesting the will to repent and abandon his repetitive sin, I order the demon stationed around him for monitoring him to call the other seven demons, once they joined you, you will join head and call me again in this following prayer, O Supreme Master. This is your victim who want to rebel from you and escape your bondage, at that moment I will come down in the speed of lightning, I will enter his body in order to shake the vaccine in him as a result the victim will weaken and will have the tendency to return to that sin despite his will to escape, then I saw on the pulpit of the devil a mirror, the devil did an incantation prayer, as a result this mirror was multiplied, it was distributed in the assistance, the devil said, before attacking a Christian you must make sure that he is visible in the mirror, beloved when a demon is coming to fight you he is coming with information and precision, he is well informed about your condition, the devil said to the assidents, their law has branded me the prince of this world, if only one of them affectionate himself with the things of this world, his profile will be visible in the mirror, some of their attitude are my nature, like anger, animosity, envy and hate, those who are in these things belong to us automatically, but remember to check in the mirror before doing anything against them, if they appear in the mirror it means that they are in a state of weakness, and their weakness and sin are my nature. My dear believers, I am here to bring words from the enemy exactly as I heard it in his meeting in the firmament, I heard the devil unveiling one strategy after another, then he unveiled a strategy against the church called condemnation, he said, my agent demons followers and demons observers, you have a very important role to play, 
Your purpose is to observe and listen to what come out of the mouth of believers. You're gonna have to be patient. You must follow them and listen carefully to words coming out of their mouths. Actually these human claim to have been created in the image and the likeness of God, but this is what we will do to them. We have five strategies in order to condemn them on the basis of what come from their mouth. The first strategy is in the, the time of anger, the devil said to demons observers and followers, in time of anger human don't control their words, and they don't control their decisions nor their actions therefore this is a critical time in order to capture their words and condemn them. Beloved you must understand that when you are angry there are demons assigned by the devil to observe you and to capture words from your mouth and decision you make, therefore when you are angry you must learn to hold your tongue, you must not sleep with anger, and you must forgive, the Bible say death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit, the devil will use your word to condemn you, the second critical moment is the time of choice as the devil said to his demons, Condemn people pronouncing word of love, when you hear a human saying to his partner, you are my angel, his guardian angel must leave on the basis of his own word, as a result his partner will take the angel place, he is condemned by his own word, when someone say, I will only marry this or that type of man, this is verbal governant binding him, he is inviting the spirit of singleness, beloved people are binding themselves in covenant through word of their mouth. It is necessary to cancel negative words, there are words you say that will destroy your life as they are capture and bring to pass by demons, the third tactic is in times of human suffering, the devil said to his demons observers and followers, in time of suffering and hardship I always hear humans saying oh I am miserable, I am unlucky, in my life everything I do is not working. The devil order these demons to bring to pass words and sentence spoken by human during their hard times, as many cursed and condemn themselves through their own mouth, then devil unveiled an additional strategy that will cause believers to be heavy so that they won't be able to pray or read the Bible or attend the church, as a result they will become ordinary human being, the devil insisted to the participants by saying, do not let them pray, do not let them read the scripture. Do not let them go to church do no let them tithe, then I saw the devil summoning a demon that looked like Superman, this demon was dressed in red and blue just like Superman but the devil called him superhuman, he said to him, I have chosen you to visit Christian at home, in the days of their church service, you must be informed about their church program 5 hours before it start, you gonna blow on them the bluish smoke as a result they will become heavy and they will feel like not going to church. They will feel uncomfortable, the devil said to him blow your bluish smoke even on their cars, as a result an explained breakdown will happen, they will seek justification and they will have them, Lucifer said to the superhuman, you shall move from one Christian house to another and you shall blow your bluish smoke as a result there shall be procrastination, as consequence they shall be incapable of praying even if they set the clock, same thing with Bible reading. They will have the feeling of doing something relaxing instead of going to church. The devil said, We will enter and born again Christian house through art object and statue. I want you, my servant, to build statue and art object that will be sold in the market. After building these statues, I want a cultic master and teacher to project their spirit inside these statues, and when people will buy these statues, they will take you inside their house. You will bring us information about them and you will influence them since you are part of their lives, the devil said, I want these sculpture to be the image of mystical masters, it must be designed as a copy mystical master, afterwards these master must project their spirit inside these sculpture, I want you to influence them through post and ad photos, beloved if you have a picture or a poster of celebrity and musician, this is dangerous because you have a foreigner in your house through a statue and poster. Then then I saw the devil ordering millions of demons to travel to a specific country of the world, at that moment Michael the chief angel held me and we started to follow them as they were leaving the Oval Auditorium, we were right behind millions of demons heading to earth and we were following them, they were heading precisely in the country of South Korea, after some time these demons landed, the archangel Michael and I also landed, I noticed that we landed in a huge art and culture concessions. Inside the concession there were a lot of art objects and statues, 
They were a lot of portrait and a lot of painting and dolls, each of the million of demons that landed here was supposed to enter inside these art objects, I saw demon entering statues, painting and dolls, they enter and dwell inside art object and portrait, despite the fact that there were millions of art object here, some demons lack object to enter. Whatever the size or the dimension of these art object demons have the ability of shrinking and entering inside them, demons can shrinking their size or expend it at will, in the end all the demons manage to enter and dwell in these art objects, few days later the archangel Michael appeared to me again, he said to me, I have received an order from the Lord himself to come and transport you to the house of one family that bought an art object indwelled by demons. It was 11 p.m. when we took a speedy flight to the atmosphere, and after some time we landed in a house, as it was night everybody in this house was sleeping, there was nobody in the living room when we landed, then the archangel Michael said to me, stand by the wall and observe what will happen, I stood by the wall of this house as instructed by the archangel, and I was observing the living room to see what will happen, I was curious to see what will happen. Moment later the Archangel Michael disappeared, and I was like alone in this house, as I was in this living room I noticed the presence of an art object, it was a statue, I came to recognize it as one of the statue that I saw in South Korea, but when it was precisely midnight I noticed that this statue moved, it started to vibrate and it was shaking, afterward I noticed an opening in the middle of the head this statue. Then I saw something like a shadow coming out of the head of the statue through the opening, this shadow came out of the statue, then it took a humanoid shape and then it stood upright in the middle of the living room, this is happening while everybody is sleeping, this was one of the million of demon dwelling in art object like statue, painting and dolls, this demon could not see me, but I was observing him as he stood right in the middle of the living room. This humanoid demon standing in the living room was looking here and there like a thief, that is about to steal something, afterward I saw this demon blowing a bluish smoke in this house, he blew a smoke in this house that filled the whole house, I saw this bluish smoke traveling the corridor of the house and entering through the door of different bedroom where people were sleeping, as a result the whole family was hypnotized by this demonic blue smoke member of this family were unaware of mystical and paranormal phenomena happening in their house while they are sleeping, the demon made sure that everybody was hypnotized, then I saw him heading to the corridor leading to the toilet, he was heading precisely to the toilet, after entering the toilet he began to do conjuring and summoning, as a result the water loose started to boil up, then I saw a shape like a smoke emerging from the toilet seat, this shadow in smoke turned to a humanoid shape, when I looked closely I noticed that this was a female demon, then the demon who came out of the art object greeted the female demon, by saying my greeting Madame Jacqueline, as I was observing this scene I was puzzled, in fact in every toilet of every house there is a demon called Jacqueline the lady of the toilet, she is the hidden family member whose purpose is to collect information about the family, when a witch come to your house he will rush to the toilet to summon her for information about you. The demon said to the siren Jacqueline, Madame, as you are member of this family you know all thing about them. Please, do tell me who is about to break though and make it in this family. The princess Jacqueline replied to him, Sylvia is the one that is about the breakthrough. I understood that in this family there was a woman named Sylvia who was sleeping and hypnotized by the bluish smoke. She was unaware of the demonic plot against her life being discussed by demonic entities in her very house, there were terrifying phenomena happening in this house while the occupant were sleeping. Beloved when we sleep things happen, the Bible say while everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and slipped away, then I saw the demon who came out of the statue entering in a vase of water that people were using in this house because the bathroom water was not working. The demon was planning to enter and indwell the body of Sylvia because she was the one that was about to break through in this family, demons that are dwelling statues and portrait and painting were ordered by the devil to enter the bathroom water, because believer pray before eating and before sleeping, but not before washing, therefore bathroom and toilet water can be used as tool of manipulation, this demons was waiting for Sylvia to come and wash so that she would enter in her, 
In fact when you are in dwell with this demon he would be monitoring your life and transferring information about your life to the kingdom of darkness. After entering and dwelling in the body of Sylvia, I saw this demon doing incantation in order to summon other demons to join him. Every time a demon enter in the life of a man, he will call other demons to join him inside the body of the victim. What happened is this, I saw another demon coming in the living room and entering inside the art object in this living room through an opening on the head, and he replaced the previous demon as the host in that statue. After entering the statue this demon waited for midnight, and when it was time he got out of the statue, and he blew the bluish smoke in this house in order to hypnotize the whole house. Afterward he went to the toilet to summon the princess Magdalene the lady of the toilet. He asked the goddess Magdalene about the second person who is supposed to break through in this family. After getting the name of the person from the princess, he entered the vase of water that this family was using, and when that person came to bath in this vase of water he enter in his body in order to compromise his destiny, and when he entered the body of this person he began to summon another demon to join him. This process was repeating until the whole house was possessed by demons because of a single art object. Later the Archangel Michael told me to pray for oil in the name of Jesus Christ, then drop some dot of oil in the waterloo in order to neutralize the lady of the toilet called Princess Jaqueline or Magdalene. Then the devil unveiled another strategy called name, the devil said, we will use people name as a tool of manipulation in order to destroy them. It is clear that the devil is always seeking ways to destroy humanity, and he said to demons, you will make sure that believers become their names, beloved, in the Bible when God called people he changed their names, if you do not have a positive name you better change it now, the Bible say as it is your name will no longer be Jacob, the man told him, from now on you will be called Israel, I heard the devil saying, the spirit of homonym will follow the homonym. The second issue about name is that when you name yourself or you child after a family member or a friend, the nature of that person can be transferred to you or your child through the channel of the name, and there are these demons follower and observer, their job is that every time your name is called they have to transform you to your name, every time your name is called they will get meaning of that name to come to pass and fulfill in your life so that you become your name. The devil announced another strategy called beauty and hygiene product, I saw the devil ordering 30 demons to travel back under the ocean, and while these 30 demons were leaving the oval auditorium heading underwater, the archangel Michael ordered me to follow them, this was our secondary journey beneath the ocean, and this time around the devil sent these demons to meet underwater siren, so that they can design beauty and makeup product. When we were leaving the oval hall the devil interrupted the meeting in order to wait for the contingent of 30 demons to bring back beauty product, when we arrived underwater it's like the water siren and goddess Lamatsu knew already what Lucifer wanted, she could also read the mind of these demons, in fact every time the devil think about something he can transfer his thought quickly to his collaborators, the devil possess a network that allow him to inject thought to his followers. When Jesus said to Peter behind me Satan he was dealing with thought from the devil that he transferred in Peter mind, that's how the devil work, I saw demons of all kinds under the ocean, I saw sirens under the ocean, very beautiful women, they were extremely beautiful as though they were changing faces, I remember their names such as Alice and Jaqueline, Solange, Lily, Liliane, Juliet, then I saw their queen the great lady of the sea Lamatsu manipulating the sand beneath the water and turning them to beauty objects, I saw powder, lipstick, lotions, soap and many more, there were tones of these beauty products, I saw a siren in the name of Juliet printing her face and her name on a soap and this soap called Juliet is still used in our region and our country, when you use that soap the power of seduction of Juliet will be at work on your appearance which is artificial beauty. Therefore you must pray for these beauty products as the Bible say pray ceaselessly, even in little things, and then the devil said we will dress women with a mask of ugliness and old age in order to undermine their marriage and cause their husband to be tired of them, the thirty demons transported these beauty products from the underwater to the oval meeting hall in the second heaven, as the hall was oval they placed them in the middle of the hall, these were lipstick, soaps, lotions, deodorants, 
fragrance and others, then the devil resumed the meeting, and I watched as the devil began to curse these beauty products, then devil said, we will spread demonic smells on women or men that are using our deodorant and fragrance, the moment their sweat mixed with our deodorant they will smell like some of our demons, actually demons have their smells and I know these smells, some demons smell mixture of deodorants and sweats, other smells like acid, then Lucifer said, women using our product will have artificial beauty, they will have beauty of my servants the sirens and mermaid printed on their face, it is this way that we will spread fornication on the earth, when women use these beauty product they will become irresistible, the devil said, every time human will envy these women because of the beauty of my servant the sirens and mermaid, they will be admiring and worshipping image of the things under the sea which are sirens and mermaids, as far as the devil is concerned, makeup product is equal to building an image of things from under the sea, because these beauty of siren and mermaid that are printed on the face women who are using making their makeup product, actually makeup and beauty products are a representation of siren image and mermaid beauty, as it is written you shall not make for yourself an idol, or any likeness of what is in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the water under the earth, now the question is should women use beauty product? Yes women can but they should also have discernment and pray, we should learn to pray for everything I mean everything we buy in the market, we need a life of ceaseless prayer, when I was in the marine kingdom I saw sirens designing beauty products, and they were printing their face on these different lotions and beauty products, I heard Lucifer saying repeatedly, let fight, let not slow down, let continue to work in order to separate believers from their masters, then the devil unveiled a new strategy called forgetfulness, he said to the participant we must work to get believers to forget their daily sacred duty and obligation, as a result they will be in discord with their master, their master is supposed to be the central and cornerstone of their life but we must work so that their Lord will no longer be the central focus of their existence, firstly let get them to forget praying, as a result they will lack spiritual strength, beloved when I heard this from the mouth of Lucifer I understood that prayer gives believers spiritual strength, and even the Bible say pray ceaselessly, then Lucifer said, we must get them to forget about going to church, by confusing church schedules, as a result they will be without anointing, by these words I understood that attending the church give believers more anointing, as it is written in the Psalm of David. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, coming down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, coming down upon the edge of his robes, it is like the dew of Hermon coming down upon the mountains of Zion, for the, the Lord commanded the blessing life forever. The devil continued and he said, let them forget reading the Bible, then the devil drew the attention of the participants by saying, be careful. That book is magical and powerful, they must not read it otherwise they will have knowledge and they will uncover our actions, the devil continued and said, let them forget paying tithe so that we can ransack and plunder their house and finances, we will send them hardship and sickness and cause them to spend. These words made me understand the importance of tithing, tithe protect our business and our finances, and the scriptures say bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, so that there may be food in my house, and test me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing until it overflows. Then I will rebuke the devourer for you, so that it will not destroy the fruits of the ground nor will your vine in the field cast its grapes, says the Lord of hosts, then the devil said again, let them forget their law so that they can sin, it is only after they sin that we can remind them of their law so that they can be in guilt, he continued, let them forget to take care of the leaders financially, then the devil announced another strategy that he called hereditary, then Lucifer said for God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life, this is humanity favorite passage that I am reversing, for Satan so hate the world that he gave his own son Beelzebub, so that whoever fell in his trap shall not be saved but perish forever, then the devil exclaimed and said, I love Beelzebub, because of his mission he is gonna assist me to bring forth a race, 
a posterity, my great family is in the making. Behold! I have so many people resembling me, beloved the Bible said that Jesus branded high priests as the children of the devil because of their behavior, Jesus said, you belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out his desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, refusing to uphold the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, because he is a liar and the father of lies, the devil said, I am branded as the father of lies, therefore I need more children who are liars and who resemble me, that is why I order you Beelzebub to trap anybody practicing lies and incorporate him in my family, when any man would be deliberately lying, in that very moment you get a hold of him bring him inside my family, indeed I am called the father of lies and liars are my children whatever their confession and profession, whether they are pastors, evangelist, priest, deacon, bring them to me they are my children, then the devil said to Beelzebub, incite people to pride because I am the father of pride as a result I will have many children, you gonna incite men to sin because it is written that I sinned right from the beginning, and the more they are sinning the more children I have, Beelzebub. I have always been treated as the opponent and the adversary so you gonna make sure that the whole world is in sin so that they would be opponent and adversary of God and the more they are sinning the more children I have, Beelzebub. They must despise the church and prayer, they must despise men of God, they must despise the holy things, they must oppose Bible tradition and values, they must denigrate Christianity, the devil said, you Beelzebub my prime minister, I charged you to combat the word breached in churches all over the world, actually Lucifer has a global government and Beelzebub is the prime minister of his global government. The devil said to Beelzebul, let the word preached in churches all over the world be without revelation, let their preaching be without edification, let these preachers lose their fire and anointing, let them be limited, let them be focused on miracles, let them be focused on prosperity, let them be focused on spectacle, beloved the devil want the church to focus on earthly things and temporary things. Then Lucifer said, It is written in their scripture and their law that your word is lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And the moment the revelational word which is the light is replaced by accessories and the materials items, then there will be no more be light left in these churches. But there will be darkness, and as consequence the church will be my synagogue. Lucifer continued and said, The word of their master and lord has branded me as the prince of darkness, it will be like a state coup in these churches as I will be the prince of these churches that are in darkness, as a result of corrupt word breached the, the devil said to Beelzebub, you must stifle their leaders and preachers financially so that they lack the basic necessity, as a consequence they will be overloaded. They will focus their attention on how to get by instead of the word and prayer, beloved, churches must organize in order to support the ministry so that the pastor can deal with the word in order to spare him from working and taking care of himself, then the devil said, let target pastors wives so that there will not be harmony in their homes as a result the pastor will be demoralized with stress and sickness, the devil said, let work so that we will send these pastors women to get them to fornicate, as a result they will become ordinary human and carnal, it will be a defeat for the church, the devil unveiled a strategy called occultism. He say the purpose of this strategy is information gathering about believers, we will operate through two sectors, firstly we will use animals as instrument, then we will use ART objects, concerning animals we are gonna use domestic animals closer to human like dog and cat, we will use dogs and cat as a camera in order to get information about these believers, these animals will be initiated into spiritism and they will be our instruments. We must underline that animals do not have a spirit but their body can be used as instrument or vehicle by human spirit and demonic spirit, Lucifer said, we are going to use sculpture and statues as instruments, actually many statues and sculpture are representation of occultic masters and the spirits of these master dwell inside these statues, and people who buy these objects and take them home will be under the influence of spirits dwelling these art objects. Occultists want to enter in your house through the object of art, a status or sculpture. These spiritual master double themselves and a part of them enter the statue and when people buy these statues they are bringing a foreign presence in their house. 
These strangers are represented through statues they are observing and gathering information about you. Then Lucifer announced a strategy called, putting out the church. Lucifer then addressed the auditorium precisely witches and he said, This is the commission I am giving you witches and wizards, you must join churches and be stationed there permanently, and you must combat spiritual growth of local churches at all cost, but in case these churches are still growing then forget about spiritual methods, resort to physical methods and subject these churches to criticism and orchestrate division, beloved, every time a local church is characterized by division, slendering backstabbing these are symptoms of witchcraft activities, I just want to underline that the church will grow only when a vision given to the man of God is fulfilled, the church will grow through the support of the members who must adapt and align to the vision of the man of God and they must bring their assistance and financial contribution, then Lucifer said, let make sure that in every single church on earth there is at least one witch so that he can gather information and report to us, then the devil say, let my servant witches and wizards that are assigned to churches be of good standard, you must have good attitude and be closer to pastors in these churches, you must gather information about every local church on the surface of the earth, and every Saturday at midnight I want a report containing information about what is happening in these locals churches, then the devil say to them, if you fail in your assignment then I will have to send female spirits of the sea, they will emigrate to the surface of the earth and they will take human shape and they will join these churches they will do your job, the devil insisted, you must be permanent in these churches facilities, your mission is to bring distraction through dialogue, laugh and jokes, socializing and fornication you must wake up early before their prayer and bewitch the place of prayer so that intercessors will be heavy and will fail to pray effectively, the devil say for witches is enough to bewitch church facilities, you just need to metamorphose to insects and blow the bluish smoke in order to change the atmosphere in the church facilities and prayer room as consequence everybody will be heavy during the prayer, and then the devil say to the participant you must oppose revelational preaching and teaching, 